Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Let's see what you're manifesting, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. What is the Aquarius manifesting? What is coming towards the Aquarius? What is Aquarius manifesting? Ace of Wands, so a new start, vitality, strength. Um, this is talks about magic, wand, divination, determination, inspiration, um, a challenge. Maybe motivation to be up for a challenge. This talks about entrepreneurship. It talks about putting yourself out there. It talks about um, starting something, a move. Uh, maybe you're, you're manifesting a move or to make a move. This is the initial creation, the start of. What is the Ace of Wands for Aquarius? Um, business enterprise, like opening up something. Yeah. The tower. So it looks like all of a sudden something comes down or comes crashing down. Uh, all of a sudden there's upheaval of what is the uncovered, unraveled, page of swords, some knowledge maybe that you didn't know about, uh, something that you were immature in, or uh, something, again, that you did not know. It's, it's being expressed to you, maybe in one to 11 days. It's a yes answer. Something comes undone so that there could be a yes coming your way. Wow, the page of one. So it's like, Maybe people coming towards you to patronize you and learn from you or study under you. Or, um, it looks like you could be a teacher. You know, there's sudden upheaval, the shift in the energy of what's coming towards you, uh, what you're manifesting, the page of wands, uh, renewed or being made anew. Um, again, a promotion, large sum of money, starting a business, just being fired up for something. You got Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, the Tower. So some deep, something that has historical values. Like you're understanding why it had to happen this way. You're understanding your history. I'm understanding where you came from. Let's see, what else is coming towards Aquarius? So this is like an awakening. Yeah. Um, maybe you're sev severing ties to something that you had this loyalty to but it doesn't serve you you were kind of feeling like you needed to walk away from it anyway it was dying it wasn't at death's door but now something could be ending it could be a relationship it could be a way of thinking maybe how you think about yourself you're completely transitioning transforming uh, this is an awakening to self a death and a rebirth this is severing ties to the past and outdated out just outworn loyalties. It just doesn't serve you. It doesn't come with you in this new you. It's a shedding of old skin also. So Aquarius, looks like you are really coming to a place of letting something die within you. Maybe an old way, an old way of thinking. Let's see. What is this? You come into a place of understanding who you are. Maybe uh, looking into your chart, birth chart, astrology, astronomy, uh, history. Uh, ancestry you come into some balance in, in regards to yourself coming to understanding your nature your true nature it's like you're cleaning up something of your life or understanding why you're here what is this maybe an earth angel that angel earth angel god you're understanding maybe the fall of the angels. I know that you're learning about so much. You could be learning about angels, how to use angels, uh, the angels around you, guardian angels. You could just be so focused on uh, succeeding, moving forward, positive movement forward. Yeah, the full card, uh, what's coming towards you is going in a new direction. It's like you really left something behind. You've taken nothing with you. You don't want to take anything of old with you it's like you learn how to deal with certain people and certain dynamics you don't have to run anymore you just know how to deal you don't have to cut them off you don't have to not talk to them you don't have to restrict yourself you just like no boundaries or you're an expert at this now 
for the devil. Uh, the fool and the devil, when you're being faced with test, six of cups, you know how to choose wisely. Make uh, choices that um, are from love and not fear. Okay? So you're not making fear-based choices anymore. Balanced choices. Two of pentacles. Even in the midst of you becoming, even in the midst of you still actively doing, you're still maintaining or you're still maintaining balance. While you're learning something with the hermit card, while you've withdrawn, or you're going in to be introspective, it's like a, a complete transition of your personality. It's like you've changed completely. Everyone around you sees it. You have the magician. You know how to alchemize. You know how to use your energy. You know what energy to draw from in every situation. You're playing your cards right. You're saying the right things. Uh, you know, you, you've taken matters into your own hands. You understand your co-creator and your destiny. You have dreams and you're figuring out ways to bring it into realization, fruition. You understand that true power comes from the divine. With all this knowledge, you still aren't conceited. Uh, you aren't lording over anyone. It's just like you're at a place of just manifesting, bringing about. You have great ideas. All right, let's see what's going on for Aquarius. You manifesting, thinking of ways to turn the wheel, the clock, the your destiny, your fate. You're understanding your fate also. You could be getting like channeling, conjuring also back to angels. You could be using angels to or do your bidding. All right. Uh, the will of fortune. It's like you're learning ancient knowledge. You're learning something about the tarot uh, you're learning about um, life cycles uh, you understand the cycles what is this the five of swords you understand setbacks uh, the five of swords you understand why your life had been filled with setbacks or interference or interjection or reversal wow and now you're on your way to the ten of pentacles so long term wealth stability this looks good. It's like, okay, so this reads as some of you are understanding the, the binding that was on you, what was holding you back. You're really coming into understanding your true self and your power. You're understanding that the magic, angelic presence, angelic help, the divine, uh, you're understanding that by way of knowing who you are, maybe even in the past life, because we had the six of cups, <coughs> the six of cups come up. They didn't want me to talk about this. Bear with me, sorry. <coughs> Ooh. Aquarius. <coughs> oh. This is um the transference of wealth. <coughs> you could be getting like messages from the divine angelic presence they're transferring wealth to you like knowledge of how to make money keep money grow money um your birthright inheritance your inheritance of uh, what is the ten of pentacles what is the ten of pentacles Oh, this is, yeah, your reputation, long-term goal, achievement, inheritance, um, expert. You're going to become an expert at something. So this knowledge is going to make you an expert. Opportunity for wealth. People giving you money, benevolence, or where you can be but benevolent. Taking your power back. The power dyna dynamic shifts because you get some knowledge of maybe who you are. You get knowledge of how to ward off or fight off negative energy, envy, jealousy, lies, deceit, manipulation. <clears throat> what is, 
Aquarius manifesting what's coming towards Aquarius the Knight of Wands so opportunity to strike to move maybe even a physical move this is a budding entrepreneur this is somebody who is striking out this is somebody who's stepping out there who's determined to see it through who's determined to complete the project this is someone who's confident this is somebody who doesn't back down may even overestimate themselves or their capabilities but they get it done this is someone who's fearless it's like this new knowledge that comes into you, Aquarius, makes you fearless, a fearless warrior. You could even be <clears throat> understanding um, yourself, who you are spiritually, your spiritual ranking. This is going to be for high vibe, high vibe in Aquarius, like people who are really into, you know, this. But let's see. Yeah, some of your queens, kings you have a crown or I know the the throne or the, the yeah the throne angels wear crowns and they're like the wheels of God's uh, seat or throne chariot so it's like you closest to God I don't know some of you could be like <clears throat> throne angels look that up or maybe this was your past life or something about justice something that was an injustice being made right it's like ringing in my right ear it's like I don't know you've been held down and lied to about who you really are for a long time and now you're coming into understanding because the queen of pentacles now understands her worth understands that she's a good catch and um, she understands that she's fertile and she can have what she wants and she can grow anything this is the embodiment of the empress so you're not an archetype of the empress. You're the embodiment. Some of you could have been deified or de... Yeah, I think that's the word. Deitized, deified. <clears throat> could have been a deity in your past life. I don't know. Whatever this is, something's being made right. In this life, okay, now, now you're going to be the head and not the tail. You were like a pauper, like a beggar, uh, until you find out who you were your power who you belong to what you can't unlock what you can unleash within yourself what is going on here yeah it's like you sever ties you gain some knowledge about a mystery something that was mystery is mystery to you it's being misunderstood um, misrepresentation you are misrepresented or you're misrepresenting yourself because you didn't know self it's like now you get some knowledge of self you're divorcing some other life back to the death card letting something go we're really stepping into like high ranking spiritual you know hierarchy i don't know i don't know who you are i don't know what is this about in ten of wands like you had to go through uh endurance endurance built that character the ten of wands heavy load heavy burden duty obligation drudgery uh, again disadvantage being taken for granted misunderstood yourself and other people did too misrepresentation of who you are who you were There's something here in the middle stirring up trouble within your soul so you couldn't see who you were or who you are for a very long time divided in your mind and your heart about your power about who you are yeah who you are ace of swords wow coming to absolute clarity it was inevitable now you have to do the irrevocable you have to now that you know you can't go backwards you know oblivion is not bliss you understand again another crown here the throne angels were the crown I don't know something about the crown crown chakra maybe it was blocked you just didn't know there was an express knowledge you were fuzzy you knew that something you were different or something about you is different uh, It's causing conflict. This new knowledge about who you are, 
who you could be. It's just like you're, it's all causing conflict before you get to the resolution of, you know, stepping into that power. You could have been a great warrior for spirit, the divine. You could have been a warrior angel. Eight of pentacle. Like you're going to diligently study something, learn something, self-taught. You're going to teach yourself and you taught yourself about who you are, who you were. The universe was also whispering to you. I'm surprised I haven't seen a high priestess, prudent, diligent learning about who you are, where you belong, what you're going to do, what you're capable of over and over and over again. Wash, rinse, repeat. You can't get this off your brain. You're thinking about something continuously. Let's see, you also, you know, come into a determination why you had to go through something over and over again. Let's see, what else do we have for Aquarius? Wow. Okay, yeah, we got manifestation, law of attraction coming into you. Quick, it looks like there's quick, fast movement to the four of wands. You doing something over and over again gets you to a stable place. New levels, new devils. Gets you to stability, but you're also starting over in this war, in this fight, in this... What is this? This could be a new home, new tribe, finding your soul tribe, just bringing in, so something's new and then something's old and you gotta cut away from the old and go to the new, but it's like, it causes conflict. It's a lot of conflict here. Conflict with this, yeah, I knew it. Look who came out, the queen of swords. She cuts away the old so she can have the new. This is the only way you can set the stage for happiness, for fulfillment, for achievement. This is reward after hard work also. This is happiness, the highest level of happiness, but it doesn't come without rightfully dividing maybe yourself, your energy, opportunity, your time. Wow, 111. You can be seeing 111 on the clock. Yes, yeah, 111. 111 on the laptop. You can be seeing 111. And then we got this card here. 111. 1111, one, one. sorry. It's like self, coming into understanding self. It, it, you're now at peace with self once you do that you can make peace with you can reconcile things with you it's just like shit you just didn't understand it was like now you can come to a place of reconciling I'm like oh okay i know why that because of this and if i you know i don't know number eight could be significant to you what what is i don't know this is definitely high vibe in aquarius Something's about to, you about to understand who you really are <clears throat> and really step into your power. And you're about to have an instant manifestation of something. I don't know. But you're learning something too. It's self taught, whatever it is, and it's about you. So it's about the inner workings of you or. Who you really are like it's about the mystery of yeah the mystery of self what is happening for Aquarius you're coming out of despair coming out of a time where you just can't cope or confusion yeah now you have hope that it's going to be a brighter day things are going to get better wow you put a death to it's it's no turning back it's a no, it's a no go with the death card to a relationship, to several different relationships. And also to maybe that old loyalty that you had to certain things, people, religion, 
messenger yeah you get uh, this is angelic messenger coming to you whispering in your ear about who you are what you what how you need to use some alchemize you need to <clears throat> alchemize al alchemic alchemy apocryphy what you were engaged in before was fri frivolous frivolity can you see that nope. <clears throat> what you were engaged in before was not going to get you anywhere it was careless it was useless or s s the life that you're leaving behind was is careless useless uh, you're going to come into again soul tribe joyfulness happiness the highest level of happiness a meeting a destined meeting wow you're going to come into fortune too the bag the money are you going to come into understanding your fortune, your future fortune? Wow, cheerfulness too. Again, being around people that you love, like, different group. Eat, drink, be merry, have fun. My, my right hand is itching. You might even do some work from home or your environment. It's like you're going to be around different people in your environment. You may have visitation in your house. Whether that's actual people or spirits or angelic presence, whatever. They they visit the home or they guard the home. Could be a lover coming in for you, a male lover also. Could even be a relationship. Would it be a next to house? Wow. wow, constancy. So if it's good, it's going to be good. If it's bad, it's going to be bad. And conversation. It's like you get some express knowledge about um, something that was misunderstood, misrepresentation about your other life foe, how, how something was contrary to who you really are. Um, I'm hearing like your energy being cloaked or you're not knowing or yeah, you, you be too much of a sweetheart and being taken advantage of. But it's, the time is now. You need to incorporate something from the past into the in, into now. Also, some of you feel like you're running out of time. Yeah, running out of time. Or you're running out of time. You need to get this right. Unresolved issues. There could be somebody here who feels like they're on, they're running out of time with you, or you run. You feel like you're running out of time to become a wife or have a family, or or be married, have children because you were dealing with some like the playboy playgirl love them leave them somebody who was willing to do battle argue their position versus change somebody who that you were like submissive to subservient to serv servant you were very yielding to this person because you love them that love coming out now they're at a place of can't get out of bed you might have left them have been done with this person they're having great misfortune like it's all falling down house of cards is just what I heard like it was false you were the glue you held things together now it's just size. You just mourn the fact that it's over, that you have to divorce, let it go, uh, leave, and be of service to yourself. This person could even be trying to come back and try to be of service to you and act like they want to do things for you. Maybe because on this journey, they're learning something. You learn something significant about yourself on this journey. You're about to take it into, yeah, you became a friend to yourself, devoted to self. Now you got a sad, lonely man here who's pining over you. The relationship doesn't know how to recover it because of their conceitedness, um, their haltiness, their pride. 
they won't yield to their own pride. <clears throat> Falseness, they're, they're a liar, deceptive, firstly of themselves, to themselves, and then everybody else. Consolation, they're just looking for a little relief from being hurt, left out in the cold. They're waiting, spying, jealous. This could even be indicative of the other woman. Whomever this is, is enemy to you. So they're contrary to what you say you really want in your life. Wow, and thief. They're still in time, still in money, still in resources, still in your divinity. Wow, lording over you. They could have been the homeowner. They could have been, you know, real estate owner, land owner. owner. Um, they could have uh, just had more than you. They felt like they had the power. They wore the pants. You may have wrote them a Dear John letter or just told them it's done or we're over. Now they're trying to find ways daily of how to come back to you, get back with you. They're trying to learn something now. You could be learning something too daily about how to make money, okay? Uh, how to recover money, or about how you can sell yourself or sell your knowledge or use your knowledge to make money. You're leaving something on the table here. Somebody also could be trying to figure out if they can buy you something to have reunion with you, an opportunity. Because now they want the opportunity to, this person sees that you are faithful. You won't, you don't give up, you don't give in, or you're not like the rest and now they want you back. They want a chance, a new chance. This person needs help though, doctor, you know, like therapist, counseling, and they need to, they may have like a sexual addiction with doctor and priest coming out. They might be codependent on you. They need to go and seek help because they're in a mental prison about you, over you, issue they can't get over. They feel powerless. So this might even be somebody needing that someone has some addiction problem, whatever the addiction is, they need help beyond you, Aquarius. Because they're they like, this is prison. I can't kick it. I can't kick the habit by myself. But let's get you some advice. What's the advice for Aquarius? Hermit card going within, learning, studying, be a student of life, your life experience, uh, philosophy, uh, religion, higher education, higher learning is going to completely transform your life. Uh, life altering change will happen here for you. A life altering choice will happen here for you. Divine presence, you know, you know, uh, seven of wands, yeah, persevere. Don't be moved away from. Also, stand on what you believe, even if it's a minority position, meaning the majority is over there, but you believe this one thing. Even if you're by yourself, the moon card. This could be esoteric knowledge. It could be hidden knowledge. Someone could be enemy to you, a hidden enemy. Um, so you need to stand your ground. Also, guard yourself. Be proactive. Um, guard your valuables, your identity. Someone's trying to take something from you. So it's like you got to be on guard. Put up boundaries um, around sensitive information. Somebody's trying to take something from you. What is what is the moon? Leave you hanging. Take something from you. Take your position, your power, your importance. They want to be the star, they want, but they want to leave you hanging. They, they want to leave you stuck. They want to sacrifice you. I don't know what we can get into, like actual sacrifice. I don't know. 
Yeah, they, they want you dead. They want to, like, fight you. They want to get you out of here. They want to win. You got to get out of here, you know, is what somebody, this is heavy energy. You got to learn about who you are. Um, nine of swords, your sleep pattern might be off. Um, you could be having nightmares. If somebody's having nightmares. I hope it's not you, Aquarius. Seven of swords, someone's having nightmares. They're trying to attack you in your sleep. Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords. It's a test, a trial, tribulation with the Five of Swords, yeah. So it's like um, mental attacks. Attack, mental, and then hiding. It could be a frenemy. Maybe someone that you let go of or you need to let go of. What is the advice here for Aquarius? Keep your, your plans to yourself. Someone is not your friend. They're trying to just take everything that you have and make it their own. They want to be like you. They absolutely hate you. They're jealous of you. They won't tell you because then you leave their life and then they have nobody to usurp. Seven of Pentacles. Wait. Let something mature. Wait. You've done enough work. It's going to grow. Harvest is here. You will reap the harvest. There will be benefit. There will be inheritance. Large sum of money coming. Finish what you start. Uh, move forward. Uh, wait. Seven of Pentacles. What is Aquarius waiting for? Maturity. Growth. It, it will grow. Okay? Don't leave it. It will grow. Stay with it. It will grow. Okay, they won't really want to tell you it will grow. I don't know what this is about. Five of Pentacles is like, you know it, but you're scared. And you might be making, trying to make a rash decision out of fear. Yeah, I can't make it up out of fear. But stand firm. Your prayers have been heard. They will be answered. Just wait. Anticipate. Anticipate God presence, angelic presence, anticipate the renewing of your spirit, anticipate divinity to step in, anticipate a big achievement, a goal, an accomplishment, a dream, a wish, prayer, anticipate a big prayer being answered. Don't think negatively, like you're in a bind you can't get out like you'll never get out like you're waiting for rescue know that whatever comes to you you're deserving of it you've done the work you've been tried you've been tested and you've come out on the other side of this someone wanted you to cling to them be bound be bound to them yeah. even in the midst of maybe things being tight still Find your joy, find your happiness, your gratefulness. Keep things to yourself. That's what we have for you. Are we gonna pull this deck? Okay. Secure. And they feel like you're just right for them. I give you money, that should be enough. Someone felt like they can keep you with material things, keep you bound. This could be even your, in your upbringing, your parents. So it is a drama king, drama queen. They care for you. So what I lied, I'm a narcissist. There's somebody here who trickery, mastery. Someone that's having financial issues. They can't focus on love. That could be you, it could be anybody. Yeah. Okay. This is just about the sex, okay? So someone is saying it's just about the sex. And I don't have time. And someone is a cheat or a cheater. So someone could be you know, very nasty to you, putting you out in the cold because it was just about the sex. So 
some liar, 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 is saying that they're healing from their upbringing, but they're a liar. So, um, they cheated in the past, but they're faithfully yours now. We saw that with the dog. Yeah, there's somebody who's having like dreams about you. I dream about you. And I, I pray for someone like you. Will you have my baby? Because you are marriage material. Someone knows they need more money. So I'm saying I'm, I'm trying to leave manipulative behavior maybe behind to stop being a player, F boy, F girl. Yeah, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonates. If it does, let me know how it does. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also get your own reading, of course, at the website level. Readings are 40 40% 40 off. Go ahead and use code 40 off at checkout. Also, the 10 minute uh, phone call or Zoom in the 10 minute video recorded readings on sale for 50 bucks. Go ahead, take advantage of that. Um, thank you to everyone who is viewing, okay, from anywhere. Go ahead and drop where you're viewing from. I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you feel like you, you took something from the reading, you can always give back by clicking the like button. Firstly, click the like button. Or if you would like to, you can buy me a coffee. The link is below. Um, what else? And uh, that's what we have, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.